A circular economy keeps products, materials and components in use at their highest value at all times. Ultimately seeking to decouple economic growth and development, it does so by distinguishing between two types of cycle. In the technical cycles, products, components and materials are kept in circulation in the economy for as long as possible. In the biological ones, the strategy is to restore nutrients into the biosphere while rebuilding natural capital. Technical cycles are usually for products made from non-biodegradable materials such as metals. The most effective technical cycles involve maintaining and reusing products. This way, the value of a product is preserved and its usage length is increased. For instance, repairing a car or arranging a carpool so that a car is shared between several people is less resource intensive than building additional cars. Even when a user no longer needs a product, it might still be reused by others by reselling it or redistributing it to different markets. Once a product can no longer be reused as is, most of its value can still be retained by refurbishing or remanufacturing it. For example, a car manufacturer can remanufacture the engine and other components of cars that are no longer usable. If it's impossible to reuse, refurbish or remanufacture a product, the materials in that product can be recycled. When recycled, the value of the product itself is lost, but the value of the materials is preserved. Biodegradable materials such as food or wood-based products can be cycled in biological cycles. These materials are renewable by nature, but further value can be created by cascading them for additional applications in different value streams. In a biorefinery, conversion processes can produce high-value chemicals and fuels. Organic materials that can't be used further can be composted or anaerobically digested to extract valuable nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and micronutrients. Important examples of materials that can go through this cycle include household food waste or sewage sludge. By leveraging these recovery strategies, systemic leakages and negative externalities can be minimised. Ultimately, a circular economy is about getting the most value from the resources we have by keeping them at their highest utility and value.